Oh God. What up party people? Oh. Um, it's been a while since me and Martin got a bit of a sweat on. So we've got the packs on our back. Probably got, what, an eight mile walk in total? Yeah, I reckon. Not huge distances, but as you can see by that over there, we started down at the sea level and it's been a constant uphill ever since. And my face is leaking more than a little. I need to turn frontwards on, otherwise you get to see my moves and my paunch. I'm sort of holding in a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But obviously I'm a bit fitter than they. Um, hammock camping tonight. We are camping on a gradient like this. Um, we've been there before. It's a lovely place, but it does do your calves in. Does your calves in. This was the 50% fun, 50% two middle-aged fat blokes trying to keep warm around a small fire on but an uncomfortable hill. There was a lot more to it. Than there was more to it, yeah. yeah. I lost, this was the one where it took me half hour to sort my guitar yeah, out, that's... and then I woke up in the morning and my phone was two meters away from the hammock. So, on that note, I won't say any more. Got to make it nice, short and sweet, punchy mark, punchy. Yeah, let's yeah. do punchy okay, let's go. Must be some kind of way out of here. Said the joker to the thief. It's too much confusion. Way. Wrong time to turn the camera on. I'm blowing out my hook. Can't you? get no relief. Uh, muddy as you like. Steep as you like. Businessman, they Horrible drink my stuff. wine. And plowmen, they dig my earth. None of them alone the line. What a beautiful little island. Why any of it? Were. No reason to get excited. Be very kindly spoke. There are many here among us now. Oh, you don't think I'm going to be able to do this, do you? That's why you've done this. Okay. No, you just lift it up. What like this? Yeah. I've lifted it up. Now pull it. Now pull it. No, pull it. <laughs> Go on, pull it. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> you can have that. <laughs> Especially as I went. <laughs> you think I'm not going to be able to get through this guy? As you went through it, I saw you smiling going, oh, here we go. I've got some comedy here. Jesus, so when I ask for sympathy camping with these people and say, I've got to do everything. So Mark, um, how did your packing go today? Well, I was trying to be organised, you know, the family are under my feet. I may have forgotten something that to me is pretty important. What would that be? Sleeping bag. <laughs> but I've got me a safety ukulele <laughs> case. <laughs> I'm going to try and get an arm in there. I don't want to have to get in with you, but with your body heat, I might just have to do it. See how cold it is. Never happening. If it was me, I'd go full on squirrel style. I'd go and bury me nuts in damp leaves and that'd be me for the night. Couch aside. Who doesn't come out with a sleeping bag? That guy. So as you can see, it's not the ideal spot. It's really peaceful when you're here. It's just a nightmare to uh, sit anywhere, obviously. Got to be really careful to avoid the bluebells and other twats have found the spot. Again, another site compromised. Can't complain, I don't own the woodland. As you can see, beer can. Not a Jamaican eating bacon, but it's a beer can. And a uh, bottle there. A few other bits of tat that we got to sort out. Let's get me hammer cup, eh? Well, this is a lot worse than I remember, and I remember it being pants. <laughs> oh, this is 
I'm like skating on a muddy hill. Walking around, it is. It's proper thick mud. And the hill is, well, substantial. And you've got to be careful where you tread as well. So, when we start getting half cut, it might be a very amusing camp. For whoever's not on the receiving end of it. Yes. So let's have a look what I've got. I've got the tarp from my Shanjing 2. One wind, uh, 11 foot zippered, one winged under quilt. A load of stuff on the floor in a mess. Which on it is sort out and make a brew in a minute because I'm a little bit parched. Martin's got the G43 hammock, 10th wonder sargasso tarp a one tigress underquilt i believe and no another bag. diy underquilt because he forgot his sleeping bag <laughs> so right it's about time i showed you the genius of nobby because a while back you would have seen that i made a homemade underquilt now martin the idea was was that i could use any blanket any duvet anything to make an underquilt with simple attachments so Martin has forgotten his duvet, the homemade underquilt he was going to use, he's now popped off, and if you look, at one end at least, it's just a normal blanket. Who knew? Have a look at how to make it. I'm a bit of a genius. Mm. Mark, what are we doing? Oh mate, this is insane. If the cows come through, this is just fucked. Oh. Just trying to get a level seat. I know. I remember it from last time, mate. Been two middle-aged fat men trying to get comfy around a small fire. It's not The wind's not in the same direction as last time, though, is it? No. Right. I've never been so happy to have a man bag in my life. Good luck getting that. Just be careful of the bluebells. Latte. And my food for later. Um, I've put mine down. Have you? Yeah. Down here. That's how you roll? That's how I roll, mate. You don't even fucking... You don't fuck about. No. Where's not. the fire going to be, mate? Wherever it rolls. Well, would we be better off a little bit further? No, you don't want to move that, do you? No. There, there's nothing here that's any flatter than where we are. Mm. Which, by the way, Ain't flat. But that is what makes these adventures, Mark. Yeah, mate. We always look back on to the, the night that was 50% fun, 50% two middle-aged fat blokes trying to keep warm around a small fire on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of like, the time that I nearly lost it on the last camp, when I had that moment of doubt where I thought I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Lee, I don't know, I'm sort of enjoying this, but it sort of feels a little bit like, correct me if I'm wrong, the time that they, we were on that hill, you know, two of us, we're middle-aged. We're not fat, but, you know, we're not... Un we're, Speak we're for not yourself, slim. I'm definitely fat. You're not fat, you're just under tall. With me, it's just, you know, just slight... No, you're fat. Slight, no, I'm not. I've got a slight paunch. I mean, look at me. <laughs> Mate, look, don't... People that think it's a full moon, <laughs> you're, you're pasty, bloated and very, very white. You're that white, you could get me demonetized. Fucking <laughs> hell, Or a shovel. That's what we needed. <laughs> oh, I didn't do this early, early enough last time. No, there's a brick you can put one leg on. Oh, God, yeah. I've hit it. Oh, my Smashed God. it. Literally in a couple of sticky digs. I just need to release mine a little bit. So I reckon if we put a fire light somewhere in between us down here. Yeah. I knew that'd be hot. Oh, wicked. Be careful, it's gonna be hot. Where am I gonna get that from? Put your gloves on. Are you doing this on purpose? 
you filming me taking it as well. You're <laughs> such a melon. Oh, look at these though. Keith special. <laughs> <laughs> You're up for a couple more minutes. <clears throat> That's the thumbnail. This site is brutal, but it's going to be a really peaceful night. And if it stays clear, the stars are going to be immense. I'm happy to be out. Cup of coffee in hand. Actually not standing at a 45 degree angle and slipping with every step I take. All's good in the hood. So before I get comments about obviously the bluebells and that, as you can see, all this lot is all clear. It's a cattle run. We've plopped up here just as they start. So we've got a cow run down one side, a cow run up the front of mine. We shouldn't crush any of them. And where we're sitting, again, they're sparse. Oh, we're sitting there, look. They're sparse. So look after environment. <laughs> Kept their view And all the women came and they went Barefoot servants too And outside in the cold distance A wild cat did growl The two riders were approaching now Again, from time to time, not very often, he does remind me why I like hanging about him. Oh, I thought that was going to be a diss. <laughs> no, not a diss, mate. So much so, again, I may do the same as Drops of Juta will that and nick it. Nick it? Nick it. And put it in my vid. Fine. And link the bejesus out of him. He's nearly at a thousand subs. Ignore the face, as I always tell you. I've been told I've got a friendly face. It's not like yours, is it? Always grumpy. Get it on you now, see? That's the face that I'm used to Hi. seeing. You get to see me smiling. You don't have to be around you, Mark. You wouldn't smile if you had a mate like you. Come on, you're always back for more. You'd love it. I love him, really. Are you my friend? <laughs> Are you my friend? Are you my friend? Cool. We're friends. <laughs> That's my Come boy there. Friend. That's my boy. That's my boyfriend. It's <laughs> <laughs> not my boyfriend. So, last time I was out, I bought with us some homemade fire lighters and they were an absolute failure. So I bought them out again. To see if they work or whether it's just the wood and the conditions where we were. It's a light. There's some sticks above it without smothering it. And I'll cock that up.
That's pantsly. That is one of the worst jobs you've ever done. Just in case, they do burn for a while, it might work. If not, I'll get some more little twigs and we'll see how we go. But the fire light is working. Working fine. Fire is struggling a bit. Mark's burgering with his mixed up ready to go sauce. How's it going, Mark? Great. Ketchup, mustard, gherkins, all in, ready. All right, let's have a little more than mine. It's nowhere near even boiling yet. But let's turn you down a bit. So, yeah, as you can see, meat, stock, veg, all cooking on. An old trangia. When that boils up, I'll put the simmering on. Probably have to refill the stove. Gotta love an old bit, the military issue kit. He's a very good cooker. Although burgers would have been easier. <laughs> what are you doing, Mark? <laughs> Light on. Oh, Jesus. Where's your foot gone? Don't know. Have you thought about rubbing it around <laughs> in some mud to find it? <laughs> What's come over me? I wonder. <laughs> you all right, mate? Tired. Oh, that uh, runs a killer, isn't it? Yeah. Jesus, he's got a kitchen roll. <laughs> <laughs> Dick for victory, Mark. Yeah. I mean... Is that it? No. It's just brute. <laughs> No way it's down there. I think you need to get your hands in. I'm not getting them in again. Fine, it's just a plastic foot. Ideally, I'd prefer to find it, but... I mean, it looks rats, but I'm sure it's going to be tasty. Looks Even give Martin some look. Looks lovely. Try and lease cooking. It's been going for a long time. <laughs> You've got to stew stuff for a long time, Mark. Yeah. It just seems like you've literally wasted your night. You've been cooking for like two hours. But thanks for the food. <laughs> <laughs> and what, well, hey? This is why no one likes him. Again, down into the bleeding. Most dangerous, oh, I can't talk, Mark. Yeah. Yes, it's fucking awful. <laughs> it's treacherous. Right, let's give this a try. Martin took the mick out of me, so I'll give him a little uh, plateful and he is tearing into it. Good, mate. Like a taste of home, Marty. Eh? Yeah. I don't know what the chicken's gonna be like. It's definitely been cooked long enough. That was very tasty. Mm. You don't need to hear me tearing into this, do you? What, are you going to mute yourself? No, I'm going to turn my camera off. Well, I still have to listen. Don't care about you. Yes, you do. <laughs> Been an awesome night. Getting a bit late now. I'm three parts gone. Martin's a little bit ahead of me, but it looks a bit. <laughs> it's cold. It's uncomfortable as hell. <laughs> <laughs> We've even had to put the path along here just to make sure we don't go past the bluebell line. Quite frankly, it's been horrific, but a very chilled night all the same. Let's turn that shit down. Very chilled night all the same, and basically two middle-aged fat blokes on the hill trying to keep warm. <laughs> but some good tunes and food yeah, and banter. That, yeah. Bit nippy on the face now, isn't it? <laughs> you got a lot more face than me, but <laughs> you got more beard, I suppose. Going on, I've got more, more nasal hair. Oh, I've hair. definitely got more nasal hair. Eye hair, I might <laughs> yeah. get rid of that now, actually. Yes, yeah, proper snug. Just tightened up my underquilt, and now it's toasty. 
Martin with a sleeping bag is toasty. And me, like a fool, forgot to turn the clicker sound off of my night lapse, so every minute we're getting that. <coughs> so I'm gonna put my Carlos Fandango headband headphones on and hopefully go to kip. I'll see you in the morning. Side underneath. It was a stiff breeze coming for all night. Oh, it's just gone six. Got to get up. Start packing up. It's got a long old walk. And I've got to be back early. I definitely need a cup of jar. Still pretty cold, right? Yeah. Got to have your coffee in the morning. There's some hot water here for you, Mark. Thanks, mate. I think I'm just plowing on. You're not having a brew? No. Nah. What the F is wrong with you? I just want to get packed up. And, I, you know, it's just too much. I think it'll just make me need to leave. Well, you're up now. No coffee for Martin. Top night, Mark. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome, dude. This bleeding hill's nearly killed me, though. Oh, right. Sup this. Get packed up. Walk back there and Everest. Go collect me bleeding stove. Clear up the fire and get underway. Oh, you're not gonna see much of the clearing up. Honestly, it's it's brutal here. <laughs> mm. First coffee in the morning. So, far and that was there, uh, we were over there. Not quite leave no trace because there's slippy footprints everywhere. Because it's a quagmire. A downhill, Franz Klammer-esque quagmire. How are you feeling, Mark? Yeah. Uh, you got time for a tune? Weathered. Really weathered. Oh, yeah. got to get the rubbish bag. And we is out of here. You might get a little bit of uh, B-roll footage on the way out. Martin's an angry little teddy bear today because I didn't help him pack up. See? Un <laughs> Until next time, <laughs> ta -ra. They sat together in the park As the evening sky grew dark